Roger's the kind of guy who would, he would do anything for fun. He's got there's there's no shame in him. You can't you can't embarrass him. You can't shut him up once he gets started. He's uh, he's just got a good sense of humour, and I don't think he realised that until we sort of extracted that out of him by really taking a Mickey. I know he was originally born in Leicester, and his mum and dad moved down during the war, and they, I mean they had nothing. He had to live in a squat. I think he started here when he was about 16. He's come from another department. He got put with us sort of 10 years ago and somebody gave him the name Bonehead. And I think secretly he kind of likes it. You know, it gives him a bit of identity. He's not just another person in a shop. He's actually a character, probably one of the main ones now. Once it sort of took off, you know, and, and people were knowing Roger as Bonehead and we had him dressed up in different things and, I mean, playing pranks on him. We put him on the internet. You know, we had him on Bebo, on MySpace, Facebook, and people from all over the world loved him. You know, he's got fans in Israel who we sent T-shirts to, and uh, Kansas, Kentucky, Iowa. He's, they can see the sort of humor that comes from him, you know, and the fact that he's game for a laugh and will do anything, they, they love him. You know, I would never say it to him and admit it, but he is a real funny, nice bloke, you know? I would never say that to him, of course. I've known Roger all my life. Literally, when I was a child, he was a friend of our family. And he's always been that way. He's a fun-loving guy. Um, he was really up and running when he was a young man. Uh, I mean, you know, the dress sense, the, the clothes, the brill cream back in those days, and he's sort of grown with that. And if you look at Roger now, even though he's coming up to retirement age, he's got a young air about him. And he loves to be part of that still, to be honest. He enjoys the young element of the shop and having fun. He thinks it's great. He loves life, you know, and some of the things that he's had going in his personal life, you know, well, well, I walk around under, under a black cloud, but he never lets any of it get him down. And he just tries to make us all smile, and he does it a lot. It really doesn't matter how bad the job is that you get now. If Roger's with you, he, he lifts your spirit.